everyone! Welcome to a Jada and Stitches show crochet quick fix. Today we're going to show you how you can take a couple of granny squares that you might have lying around from your stash and turn them into a really quick and sweet gift bag. So all you need are two granny squares. I've got two sunflower granny squares that are roughly six inches across. We've got a link to this particular tutorial in the description box down below. So if you want to make a couple of sunflower granny squares for this specific project, you can do that. You want a little extra yarn, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, the same hook that you were using to make your granny squares. In this case, this is around a four and a half or 4.25 millimeter, a G or a six hook and some pretty ribbon. You can also make yourself a little braided or crocheted tie if you want, but if you've got some ribbon lying around, that'll just finish off a gift bag beautifully. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. You want to begin by taking both of your squares and picking which side you want as the right side and the wrong side. So that's the back of my square. I've got a couple of little sort of like um, the odd little bit of fluff showing and these are the right sides. So I'm going to put them wrong sides together or right sides facing out. And the first thing we're going to do is work a little seam all the way around three of those sides. So we're going to take our yarn Make a slip knot on our hook and if you're left-handed you can start in the top right corner. If you're right-handed you can start in the top left corner. You're going to join your yarn through both, so we're working through both squares at the same time. Right in the top corner there we're going to join with a single crochet. So I'm going to work over top of my little short tail. So a little single crochet to join our yarn working through both of those top corner spaces and you're going to focus on the sets of three stitches at a time. So you can pair up all your little spaces, just worry about the three stitches that work across the set of a pair of granny shells and you're just going to single crochet. So you're going to put your hook through both sides. This is how we create a nice simple little seam both sides at the same time. When you get to a set of spaces, you can work right through the space. You don't have to try and find the stitch. So that's all you're going to do all the way down the first side. Single crochet, show, single crochet <laughs> through both sets of stitches all the way down. So that's a single crochet worked through each set of stitches and spaces all the way down the first side. That brings us to our first bottom corner and into that corner space. So we're getting, remember you're still working through both sides. You're going to single crochet three times and this will just nice and gently turn the corner. So three single crochet worked through both spaces, that nice, nice gentle curve. And then you're back to pairing up the stitches making sure you're working through both sides at the same time. So just like the first side, work through both sets of stitches and spaces all the way across, single crocheting. When you get to the other corner, so over here, you're going to do exactly the same thing. So three single crochet worked into that corner and then you're going to work a single crochet through each set of stitches and spaces all the way up to the top. And I'll catch up with you up in the other top corner. Here we are back up at the other top corner. I've worked a single crochet through each set of stitches and spaces all the way up. When I get up to the top corner, I work my last single crochet through both of those spaces. And now you can see we've completely joined our squares together. So now we've got a nice little pocket and it's the perfect start to a simple little gift bag. All we want to do now is just finish off the top around both sides to create a nice little edge and a drawstring row. So this isn't going to be too much different than the actual granny shell stitch that we've got running across the top of our two granny squares. We're going to kind of mirror that. How we're going to do that is this. So now we're not working through both sides at the same time. We're going to sort of consider both of these sides one big open space. So you want to consider you're, you're working across one side and then the other. So we're not working through both edges at the same time anymore. So you're going to slip stitch into the first two stitches across the top of that shell stitch or those three double crochets 
that are sitting at the top of your granny square. And then you're going to chain three. The chain three counts as a double crochet. You're going to double crochet twice more into the same space. And then you're going to chain one and jump over to the middle of the next shell. So a shell is three double crochet all work together. It creates that nice sort of like wide V look. You're going to find the middle stitch and you're going to double crochet into the middle of it. That single, that one stitch in the middle of the shell, I should say, three times. So what you're doing is you're working a three double crochet granny shell directly on top of the granny shell stitch that sits in the row beneath it. Chain one, we're just creating a nice little space all the way across so we have a nice easy to see drawstring row. Three more double crochet in the middle of the next shell. Chain one, jump to the next shell, find the middle double crochet, work three double crochet into the top of that. Now, if the row of your granny, um, granny squares is solid double crochet, so you don't actually have shells all the way across, like these ones, then just divide it into three or four or whatever feels comfortable, and you can do the exact same thing all the way across. So like double crochet three times into the middle of a stitch, chain one, skip three stitches or two stitches, if you've only got two and you don't maybe have a chain one space, two or three stitches, and then jump into the next stitch and work a shell. Skip two or three stitches, make sure you chain one, and then work three double crochet into the next stitch. So it'll work across a solid double crochet pattern just as easily as it will across a, an existing shell stitch pattern. And you're going to do that all the way around. When you get across to the edge of your first square, finish your last shell, chain one, and then find your seam and right into the top of the seam you can sort of pick where you want to put it. You're just going to dig your hook into the middle of that seam and you're going to work three double crochet. So I better make sure I wrap first. Three double crochet all into the middle of that seam. So we're kind of creating an extra shell right on the edge but it's nice because we won't have a big gap there. So you want to work a three double crochet shell right into the top of the seam. So it's going to sit between the front and the back granny squares. And then you just continue. Chain one, turn your little bag around, and of course you're going to find the next shell. And you're going to work three double crochet into the middle of it. And you're going to do that all the way across the other granny square. When you've gotten around to the other seam, you're going to do exactly the same thing. Finish your last shell, chain one, and work three double crochet into the top of that seam. And that brings us right back to the beginning. We're going to chain one, and you're going to find the top of the chain three that began your first shell all the way over here. and slip stitch to join. So that is the little finishing edge where we're going to run our drawstring through or our ribbon. So that's our little ribbon row. We've got one more row just to give a nice little tidy finish to the top of our little bag here. And all we're going to do is just, so I'm slip stitching backwards into that space. So you see I've joined the top of my chain three. I want to plunk my hook backwards and just slip stitch into my space. So I want to start in this space. Now into that middle stitch, I'm going to work three half double crochet. So just three. I'm going to slip stitch into the next space. And that's going to create a nice little scallop over top of my shell. Find the middle of the next three double crochet shell and work three half double crochet into that middle stitch. And then I find the space and I slip stitch into it. Nice and easy slip stitches. 
kind of on the loose side. You don't want them to be too tight. And that's going to create a sweet little scallop all the way around the top of our little gift bag. So you work three half double crochet into the middle stitch of each of those shells all the way around. When you get to a space, just slip stitch into it. Nice and easy, not too tight, not too loose. And you'll have a nice little scallop running across the top of every single one of those shells. So you can go ahead and do that all the way around and I'll catch up with you back at the beginning. Once you've worked that little three double half double crochet, so three half double crochet mini scallop in the top middle of each one of those shells from the previous row, get all the way back round to the beginning. You're going to slip stitch back into that first space that you started in and that's it. You can fasten off your yarn. Take a moment to weave your little tail in along the inside. So you might want to just sort of weave it down and weave it back and forth through the back of some of those little scallops from that last row. And that is your little gift bag finished. Now all we have to do is add a ribbon. An easy way to figure out how much ribbon or drawstring you need is to take your ribbon or if you're crocheting, um, if you're crocheting a drawstring, then you can just use a measuring tape, but lay your little bag out, lay your ribbon across it, grab two lengths that are the same width and then do it a third time. So you want basically a piece of ribbon that's approximately a third to a third and a half, maybe even four if you want it to be super luxe. You can snip your ribbon edges. This is just a cute little thing. If you fold your ribbon in half and you take the two sort of edges together and snip from on a little angle from the bottom up, you'll get a cute little ribbon bottom. So that's sort of a stylized thing. We'll do that again on the other side here. Even if they don't line up, that's okay. Take the shorter edge and just up on a little angle. Careful not to cut yourself. Now I've got a couple of matching ends. And you can thread up your ribbon or your drawstring in your yarn needle if it's got a big enough eye. Pick the front of your bag. So this is going to be the front for me. And you're going to go in through the middle space and just weave that ribbon in and out through all of the nice big spaces that you made in that little shell stitch row. And if it comes out the middle same hole, fine. If it comes out to the one next to it, that's fine too. You can even up your two ribbon ends. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I like using a nice thick ribbon because it looks sort of, you can make it look all nice and poofy. This is all part of wrapping up a gift and making it look fancy. <laughs> and then of course you can just tie a simple little knot and a bow. If you've got something in there, you want to tie it up nice and tight. So if you can, you can cinch it shut, tie it a little bit tighter. It all depends on what you've got in your little bag. There we go. Oh my gosh, so cute. There. One bow, one little gift bag. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable all ready to give to somebody. So whatever you're giving them, you've just made it 10 times cuter. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed making this sweet little simple granny square gift bag along with us today. And we'll see you soon here on the Jade and Stitches show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have a great week. Bye everybody. Hi everybody. Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe!